everyone welcome to my channel so for today's video it is another nail video and we're gonna take a look at color changing poly gel by model ones so this is the kit right here you get a lot of cool stuff in here so you get a file a brush six different color poly gel we have pure white soft white light pink light apricot nude and temperature changing poly gel and this is just a peak the kit also comes with plastic dual forms. Now the arrangement is kind of funny, but basically it's from top to bottom and it goes back to top to bottom. Um, it doesn't go in a row. You also get top coat, base coat, the liquid to sculpt, and rhinestones. There's also a file in the kit and a brush you can use. This brush is specifically for poly gel. So I have already done my right side and this is what it looks like. I used two different colors. So I used a light pink and then I also used the temperature changing poly gel on two of the fingers. And to start off, I am just going to prime. After priming, I'm gonna apply on the base coat and let me tell you guys, this base coat is amazing. It's not as thick as most base coats um, and it glides on really easy. The brush is nice and I just love the formula. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It is perfect. So it gives you an even amount of product. So once I'm done putting the base coat on and putting that under the UV lamp for about 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and fit the dual forms on my fingers. I did end up using 7s for the dual form number 7 for most of my fingers because they're fairly the same size. After I find the right fit, I poured the uh, liquid into this acrylic cup and you actually don't need much of it. I did pour a little bit too much and I couldn't save it because the bottle, uh, it's like a squeezing bottle so you can't really refill it. Now the tubes were kind of hard to squeeze, especially the light pink and unfortunately I did encounter this problem throughout the process. And this is just basic poly gel, so as you guys see, I'm just putting that onto the dual form and using the liquid to help sculpt and spread the poly gel onto the dual forms. Um, you have to make sure you put it evenly and from free edge to free edge, making sure that it is smooth. What I did was I actually went and did as many dual forms as I can because like I said I did end up using number 7 a lot so I did about two fingers at a time. Once I'm done applying the poly gel onto the dual forms I'll put both of them on my fingers make sure they fit and then put both of them into the UV lamp so it's almost like you're killing two birds with one stone.
I'm changing to the temperature changing poly gel onto my middle and ring finger. The color of this temperature changing poly gel is a, I would say medium pink. It changes from that color to white. So depending on the temperature that you're in, if it's cold, your fingers or your fingernail will be pink, like the original color. And if it gets too hot or warm, then your fingernail will turn white. And before you put your finger into the UV lamp to cure, just make sure that it fits perfectly from free edge to free edge. And here's the finished product. All I need to do is file now. I'm using their file and this file is actually really nice. You don't need to put much pressure in because the poly gel files really good and easy. And here I'm just making sure both of my thumbs are the same size and they look the same because you don't want them to be looking different. Once you're done filing to your desired shape, just make sure you actually file right by the cuticle and around your skin. So here's the finished product. I finished filing and I applied on their top coat. And oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this look. It's so pretty. I love the transparent look of these poly gel. It's so pretty. I did use the rhinestone that they had in the kit and it just made my nails pop and the color pop. The top coat is bomb it's not too thick or too thin either which is amazing it gives you a flawless finish really glossy i definitely recommend getting the top comb base coat if you're looking for a good gel top or base and here's just another look for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching my video if you're not subscribed to my channel already then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you did enjoy and like this video then please hit the thumbs up button thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye